Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. In today's video, I'm going to go over the truth behind scheduling visits, if they're worth it, and when to actually apply them situationally. Now, before we get into the video, as always, give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, and of course, comment down below. Liking goes a long way, guys. Like I always say, I appreciate it when you give it a big thumbs up. Can we get 500 likes on this video? And if you haven't already, check out Underdog. My code and sign up link will be down below in the description and the comments. If you sign up, they have some pretty cool rewards. They have a great schedule going on for the month of September and forward. They've been killing it with the specials. So make sure to check it out. Make sure to sign up. If you need any help with anything Underdog related, hit me up on Twitter or comment down below and I will try my best to help you out with that. All right, so let's get into it. I did create a few recruiting scenarios here to go through it. So I feel like the first thing I want to get off the table is visits don't suck they're not amazing like visits have a very situational purpose some people say you gotta schedule a visit thinking it's like real life right like you need a visit you need a visit not always other people say visits suck save your points don't waste your points don't need them it's somewhere in between both of those both of those absolutes it lies in between but it really is so situational they could be the biggest waste of recruiting points that you have they can also be the thing that gets you the five star it all depends on the situation to create a few so first and foremost some starter tips you cannot recruit until you're in the top five or i should say you cannot visit sorry you cannot visit until you are in the top five so keep that in mind let's take this one at a time i see this in my league all the time so i want to go through all of them you have a player like this you have a huge lead no one's making offers this guy's probably locked up i'll see a guy go ahead and place a visit here for week five or week six and just have a visit just in case J just to be safe anyone trusts to join in do not do that no one's catching you here as long as you keep your points you keep your foot on the gas you are fine do not waste the visit here and i have some more stuff too after we get through the situational so do stay because i have a lot of other side tips about visits in general let's go to this guy this is a close battle right pretty close we have a good lead but it's not it's not too far apart if you look closely very closely at lsu versus oregon it appears that oregon has a slight lead in the terms of week to week progression now this is one of the most important things when recruiting i do want to i'm going to make a video probably in the next week or so going over the recruiting phases and how to tell if you're going to win or recruit but right here if you were to measure this i've actually done this by the way i've taken a ruler and i measure the influence gain on that the phantom bar that goes after it the slightly shaded bar i measure it because think about things like this if i'm applying my max every week and oregon's applying their max every week if they're slowly outgating me, what that tells me is I had better starting interest, but they have better packages and better recruiting uh, actions that they can use because of their better packages, like more points, like 65, 75, 80 points. So I actually do like to measure it. And as you see here, Oregon looks like they're slightly outpacing it just by tick. But if we kept going through the next few phases, they actually could catch up. So there's a situation where I might be like, okay, it might be worth applying a visit if I really care for this recruit. So you go to your visits. And you go to schedule one now some people are very stuck up on like oh they don't help visits by the way are impactful on any week a bye week a week with just one green tick a week with four they're very impactful the week before are absolutely incredible you hit one of those you're probably going to win your recruit but these are useful so like in a situation like this where i don't need to i have a pretty good lead i'm only losing by a tick each week it will probably take them three more advances to actually catch up with that tick they're gaining so all i would need really here is probably a week four five or six here an easy one i'm probably going for the earliest if possible and i'll get into that in just a second but keep in mind when recruiting you want to look at when you're you want to like get about a piece of paper and just process when your visit is going to hit and when this recruit is going to commit i feel like a lot of people don't do that they just see oh we're halfway through we're not even in the top three if i had to or if i had to guess right now we are in let's just see what week we're in we're in week two, right? Week two has not been played yet. So at week two advance to week three, on this guy, we are probably at the end of the top three phase. Week three until week four, right? We're in week four starting it. We're in the final phase towards commit. Week five, we're probably getting a commit. Probably. Likely getting the commit on week five. So when you're scheduling this visit, you don't want to schedule it for week six because there's a good chance you never get to that. It's just that that's where you waste the points. For a guy like this, where I have a pretty safe lead, but I want to make sure I can secure it if I really care, I'm probably tossing on UCLA or USA right here and just knocking it off just to get my initial bump. 
and keep in mind losses for visits aren't negative like you're not going backwards you, you simply get a bump just not that great so all you need is a little bump here win or loss you just need a slight bump so make sure you keep that in mind now a situation like this pretty big lead i'm outpacing them week to week they're not outgrowing me don't put a visit here there's no need there's no need at all if you're outpacing them just off your points you're pretty safe now there are other phases to this this is strictly a visit video obviously hard sell is another thing that if you get an early hard sell or they get an early hard sell they can catch you but if you have a safe lead like that you're fine situation right here lsu texas and fsu safe lead huge lead don't place a visit you are outpacing them each week in accruals same thing here now coming down here is a good situation again texas is outpacing us by more than a tick I'd argue at next advance, they're a tick behind us. Two advances from now, they pass us. So they're going to beat us. And why is that a problem? Especially once you get the hard sell in, you you can't beat being outpaced. That's something that I've learned already with this. Some people think just keep applying their actions and eventually they'll catch back up. If that pace is indicative of what you have, don't count visits or hard sell yet. Just talk about your actions. I have 50 points. Texas might have 65 points. So if they keep outpacing me each week, nothing I can do differently is going to fix that. So what I have to hope for is that I get an early hard sell. So at this point, if you were to get an early hard sell on this player and they also get one, now you're neck and neck again, but they're still outpacing you because you both hard sell at the same time. You hard sold at the same time. So with that being said, this is a guy that if you want to get, you're going to have to put a visit on. Most likely you will lose this recruit unless you get a visit on them or an early hard sell. But again, a lot of great programs or you're going to a user league, they're probably getting those early hard sells too, unless they get really unlucky with the motivations. Same, same thing here. So this guy... If I had to guess, week three, we're probably 75% through. Week four, we're into the commit. Same thing again, we're probably finishing this on week five, maybe week six. But you just need a bump here, and you may need more than a bump, but you, so you got to make sure you win it. I'm probably doing the game over the bye week in this situation, but you got to make sure you win it. Now, looking fo forward on this, let's just say, let's say you had no, no home games up until week seven. I've seen people do this too now, right? So let's say you have no home games up until week seven. So Old Miss is your first opportunity. Some people here would actually schedule Old Miss or this bye week, or let's say Old Miss is a good team, right? I'm not doing Old Miss. I'm gonna do week 10. So you spend, we do this on week 10. You put it down to one of your good ones, like proximity to home and you do week 10. Yeah, you got the visit on. This recruit is done by week five. If you're lucky week six, that is where you waste points. So always 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 never touch the visit button because keep in mind there's opportunity cost here with points on visits 40 is almost hard selling an entirely new prospect so think about the way i like to think about this especially early in the season once you're in the middle point and you're kind of doing a new stage of recruits it's fine but in the early portion like week week zero preseason when you got to go all in on the guys you want for your season that's going to be the bulk of your true class for every visit you plan to apply you're going to lose a prospect so for instance let's say you have 20 total scholarships given out or 20 total guys you're recruiting come week two you're in the top five it's time to apply visits to get visits on five or six of your five stars or four stars you're going to probably have to pull off all the points on your bottom six guys to apply these visits so it's opportunity cost if you do not waste it because for everyone that you just throw away you're costing yourself a four star or five star or three star player you could be recruiting from the early stages of the game so make sure you are being so careful with these visits now for me, if I have a four-star wide receiver who'd probably be like my third or fourth stringer guy that I'm just gonna get as a scout player, I'll take the 40 off to get my five-star in for a visit who I'm a visit away from winning this, or I have a lead, or I wanna protect it. If it's for a five-star, I don't care. But I've seen people do this for three stars. I've seen people do this for four, like applying visits for four stars. I'm not, I don't care enough about a four-star to take a visit off in that situation. Now, if it's a green gem, four-star quarterback like a position that you absolutely like, this is a player like you want to go all in for it's fine but don't just start applying visits all over the place they can be great another thing here you can actually win a visit a win a commit on a visit week that's not in the commit stage yet so a good example of this would be this one right here sorry uh where's the top three one like a top three one right here or this one's i think is a little too low but a top three one right here if there was competition if you're close like 75 percent of the way through to top three if you scheduled a visit, if you scheduled a visit and hard sold at consecutively in this week right here, you could probably win this recruit. Now, something to keep in mind here is that you can also do this even if you're not in first. So let's say you were in second to Marshall and Marshall had a slight lead here. They're on pace to beat you. You can win out with a great visit and getting that uh, hard sell in. So that's a great chance where I told you earlier in a situation like this, where you're being outpaced and they're going to jump you. There's nothing you could do. 
that's a situation where a visit could be so crucial. I did this in my league. I was losing to Georgia on a player. I was probably down about a quarter on them or maybe a third. They had hard sold a week early and I thought I was out in a player that was always mine. I hard sold that week and had a visit ready to go. And I preemptively had a visit scheduled because I had a feeling Georgia might catch me. And that's where you have to do it. Cause when I was looking at the bars, Georgia was slightly outpacing me, although I had a good lead. So I made sure to schedule a visit for a week four, knowing that he'd probably commit in week five. That gave me a chance to try to catch back up before the week five. And lo and behold, I get the commit there because that's a huge jump. The visit gave me this for a big win against the team. And then I also had the hard sell week. That's almost a full from bottom influence all the way to top three. But since we're at the end of top three, it gets me the commit. So that's another way to do it. That's another way to steal it from someone who's outpacing you. So visits are great to steal a player when you're slightly behind. Visits are great to secure a big enough lead when you're being outpaced. If you're outpacing them, there's really no need for a visit. Now there is a third instance here also on top of what I'm about to finish here with, which visits can be great in a lot of situations. Visits are great when you're going against the visit. That's the other thing is like when I approve visits in most situations is when you're going against the visit. Let's say right here, Oregon, I'm, let's say we were outpacing Oregon, right? Like right here, Ole Miss, we're outpacing Ole Miss. There's no need for a visit here. If I saw Ole Miss schedule a week three visit, I'm a little worried. I'm gonna go see how they're playing week three. If it's a bad team, I'm worried because they're gonna win it. But I can hope that it's not gonna be a big jump, but that jump could be enough to get them tied with me. And I'm even more concerned if they're outpacing me. See, I'm outpacing them here, so I'm not overly concerned about their visit, but their visit will probably bring them back up to tied, and then I can outpace them again. But if they're outpacing me and they have a visit for week three, you absolutely got to get a visit. That's where visits, again, you get your hand forced. And that's where you got to make some decisions. Do you drop some guys? Because if you have a, if you have a five-star player that you have a safe lead on, a pretty safe lead on, like a quarter above, and you think you're going to get them, and you see the team below you do a visit, you kind of got to match them. Now, what you don't want to do, and like I said, I've seen this too, you don't want to schedule a visit to match them. So let's say they have a week three visit on, and you know they're going to jump you. And all you have is games and your best, your easiest game is after week seven and you do like week seven, that visit, that, that recruits done by week five, you know, check for your specific league and your situation. But I've seen people match visits for week seven. Now you just lost another recruit because you pulled points off and that visit won't ever come to fruition. So not only do you lose your player, you lost another player too. So keep in mind that as well. And I mean, sometimes it's the luck of the draw. Sometimes when the player gets into top five, you had three home games through week three, they got into the top five right at week three, your next home games week eight. You're kind of you're out of luck on that one so keep that in mind as well if you're in an offline league you can customize your schedules kind of line up home games if you can but that pretty much wraps it up visits are so situational do not be wasting your points on visits before assessing the situation i feel like that happens way too much calculate your points see what it would cost you to pull off for a visit always match a visit if needed if needed like i said there's some so sometimes i've seen people that are about to fall out of the top five and i do actually want to toss that in there as a last minute tidbit for instance right here Let's say we're about to be in the top three. Let's see what's one that we're close on. Like right here, top five. I've seen like a team like Alabama throw a week four visit on or a week three visit for next week. A week three visit to try to get back into this, but it won't add advance. When we advance, the top five is going to be locked. LSU, Texas, Oklahoma, Ohio State, Gators, all things considered equal are going to be locked. You can get locked out. So I've seen people do that too. If you're about it, you have to check if you're going to get locked out soon. He's one advance. Alabama's one advance from being locked out. Don't place a visit hoping you'll get back in at like week four or five if you're about to be locked out. You may want to wait a week to see if you stay in and then apply the visit if possible, but that's another thing to be careful of. And one last thing, it just came to mind. One last thing. When doing visits, you also have to, you can lock a week for another opponent where the other visit can be useful, where I liked it and is one other situation, a little scummier. Let's say week five is when the recruit's probably going to decide. Like that's the last game, right? Until week six, I should say. Week five is the last game and you're going against Oregon. Like I'm LSU and Oregon's right behind you. They're close, but you're outpacing them. The only way they could beat you is a visit. Go check their schedule and see if at advance when it gets into top five or something, see what their home games are like. So in my league, I saw this, for instance, I was competing for a five-star quarterback and I was ahead of Oregon. I was going to outpace them. It looked good, but they weren't far behind. A visit would be what would be the only thing that could kill me. So I checked Oregon's schedule before advance and I saw that their only home game between week three and week seven was week five. That was the last possible week that would actually kill me. So I waited for advance and I sat there and I had a visit. I was spamming it. I was ready to go in. I went in, I applied my visit for week five. I did not care to waste the 40 points because I wanted to lock him out. Locking him out there, win or loss, basically locked him up a five-star quarterback. That is where visit can be good too, because you can lock them out. Now, 
don't lock them out for week five, the recruit's going to come in week seven because then you just wasted your 40 and then that's what they can just do week six. So keep that in mind too. You can use it as a lockout method, kind of like in the transfer portal. But guys, that's about it. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give the video a big thumbs up as always. Can we get 500 likes in this video? And yeah, that's about it. Check out Underdog. I'm out. Peace.